It's Nikki LaRue of the Moscow Advertiser with Big Daddy Liberty, otherwise known as Sikli Ngobezi of the Institute of Race Relations. Sikli, you're visiting Mosul Bay tonight. Please tell us about your visit and what is it you hope to achieve here tonight? Well, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Sikli Ngobezi, better known as Big Daddy Liberty, and I am the Director for Strategic Operations at the Institute. Tonight is a special evening insofar as the uh, Institute reaching out to all South Africans and we're doing a speaking talk right across the country where we're essentially discussing the country and where it is at the moment. A lot of South Africans are worried about the path the country seems to be taking and the increasingly polarized nature of uh, our politics. So our meeting here tonight, and we've had two others already here on the South Cape, uh, which have been well attended, is to begin to speak to South Africans on honest issues around, firstly, what the data is saying around the, the current path the country is, is taking, and honest analysis based on that. So as to empower South Africans to be able to be part of the conversation, because one of the things we're doing in the Institute is we believe that if we're to change this country, then we need to engage in what's called the battle of ideas. And the battle of ideas is having ordinary South Africans at a ground level being the ones who raise their voices in order to um, encourage policy change with politicians. So our being here is essentially that, is to begin to speak to ordinary members of the public across this country and to get the good ideas in this country, which guarantee on the one uh, uh, in the one perspective, sorry, um, a prosperous society, but also a property-earning society that sees all South Africans enjoy a higher standard of living. Big Daddy, but very interesting now you call it property-earning South Africa. On the other hand, we have expropriation and all that kind of talk, and we have an election coming up. So help me, is South Africans ready for another election? What, what path are we heading the, towards? Well, I think that's... A very interesting question in so far as the path must be determined by South Africans. So what do South Africans want? Um, you know, I, I often argue that most South Africans inherently... I often argue that most South Africans inherently want to be able to earn an income, to be able to save, to invest, uh, to own some property, uh, live in an urban area, enjoy a middle class life, and of course, be able to save that and pass it on to their children. These are commonalities that all South Africans have, whether they're black or white, or whether they're rich and poor. So the issue becomes, what are the good ideas um, and the proven ideas um, that can help realize that sort of society? And that's essentially what the Institute is um, trying to inculcate in society in terms of pushing those ideas out. Um, so tonight is actually rather instructive and special for us because we believe that it takes all South Africans to be able to do this. Tonight we happen to be speaking to um, uh, the community of Muscle Bay. Um, and I mean, over the last two nights we've been in other cities here in uh, the Southern Cape. And taking it from here, we, we, does the tour take you? Well, um, you know, Big Daddy Liberty will be traveling across the country um, from the Limpopo to the Cape, um, literally meeting with all pockets and all sort of communities, whether it's rural South Africa, our townships, or even suburbia, because we believe that South Africans inherently want the same thing. Indeed, the polling shows that. I mean, the IRR of any organization does the most extensive polling, um, and we believe we know what South Africans believe, uh, think. And one of the polls we ran is we asked the question, do South Africans believe that through the different races and the different classes that uh, they need each other. And a resounding 80% of South Africans um, essentially responded and said yes. Across race and across class, South Africans need each other if we're to make this country work. Big Daddy, thank you for speaking to the advertiser. Thank you for having me.